The Battle of Santander was a battle fought in the war in the North Campaign of the Spanish Civil War during the summer of 1937. Santander's fall on 26 August assured the nationalist conquest of the province of Santander, now Cantabria. The battle devastated the Republic's Army of the North, 60,000 soldiers were captured by the nationalists. Chapter 1 Background After the fall of Bilbao on 19 June and the end of the failed Republican offensive at Brunete on 25 July, the nationalists decided to continue their offensive in the north and occupied the Cantabria province. Chapter 2 Opposing Forces the Nationalists' Army of the North had 90,000 men, led by General Davila. The Italian force, led by General Bastico, comprised Bergenzoli's Litterio Division, Frussi's Black Flames Division and Francisci's the 23rd of March Division. The Nationalists had also six Navarre's brigades led by Colonel Solchaga, two Castilian brigades led by General Ferrer, and one mixed Hispano-Italian division, the Black Arrows, led by Colonel Piazzioni. The Nationalists had also 220 modern aircraft on this front, including many BF-109 fighters. Opposing them, the Republicans had Prada's 14th Army Corps and José García Valles's 15th Army Corps, under the overall command of General Mariano Gamiera Libari, a total of about 80,000 men. The Republicans had also 44 aircraft. Furthermore, the morale of the Republican troops was low, and Basque soldiers thought that they might surrender to the Italians, in return for their lives. Chapter 3 Timeline The 14th of August the Nationalist 1st Navarre's Brigade attacks the front between Valdespolas and Cuesta Labra, trying to cut off the Republican forces south of the Cantabrian mountains. The 15th of August the Nationalists advance in the area of Baruolo up to Pina Rubia, Salcedillo, Matalejos and Reynosilla, the Republic's fight back at Portillo de Suano. The 16th of August the Nationalists overcome the Republicans at Portillo de Suano, and take the factories near Reynosa, they enter Reynosa itself at nightfall. The 4th Navarre's Brigade advances at the River Soya Valley towards Cabuniga Valley. Italian forces advance from Burgos to Lanchas and San Miguel de Aguayo. The 17th of August Italian forces take El Escudo Pass and join the rest of the forces at San Miguel de Aguayo. 22 Republican battalions are encircled at Campu. The 18th of August Nationalist forces take Santiud, and Italian forces take San Pedro del Romero and San Miguel de Luena. The 19th of August Nationalist forces advance in Cabuniga, and the Pa River Valley, taking Barcena de Pai de Cancha, and in Trambas Mestas. The 20th of August Italian forces advance towards Villa Cariedo, and Navarre's forces advance towards Torre la Vega, and Cabasson de la Salle. The 22nd of August the Nationalists take Celaya, Villa Cariedo, Ontoneda, and Las Fraguas. The 23rd of August Navarre's forces enter Mascuras Valley and take Mount Edio, nearly cutting the main road and railway between Santander and Asturias. Italian forces face Republican resistance near Puente Visgo. The 24th of August, General Gamir Libari orders the general evacuation towards Asturias. The Nationalists take Torre la Vega, and Barreda, cutting the main road to Asturias. The Basque forces, after defeating the front, sign the Santonio Agreement by which they surrender to the Italians. The 25th of August the main Republican authorities leave Santander, heading to Hion. The 26th of August Nationalist forces enter Santander around noon, 17,000 Republicans are made prisoners, many of whom would be immediately executed. The 1st of September the Nationalists take Unquira, in the limit with Asturias. The 17th of September Tresfizo, the last Cantabrian territory in Republican hands, falls to the rebels. Chapter 4, Consequences Santander's fall, coupled with the capture of heavily fortified Bilbao, tore an irreparable gap in the Republic's northern front. The destruction of the Army of the North marked another crippling blow to the Republic's sagging strength and turned the war to Franco's favor. Factors accounting for the Republican defeat include 
the nationalists' overwhelming superiority in artillery and air power. A lack of unified command among Asturian, Cantabrian, and Basque Republican units. The precision, shock, and rapidity of the nationalist advance, which had as its objective the destruction of enemy forces and not the consolidation of territory. The defenders' poor morale, in contrast to the exceptional confidence and enthusiasm of the nationalists. Mutinies and sedition by the Basque units in the Republican camp. The disaster proved total, and the losses beyond repair. Of the twelve Basque brigades there remained at the end only eight battered battalions. The Republican army of Santander of twelve brigades was reduced to six battalions. The Asturians committed twenty-seven battalions and escaped with only fourteen. In no other theatre of the Civil War did Franco's troops achieve results as decisive as those of the Santander campaign, 60,000 Republican soldiers were wiped off the map, with corresponding losses in materiel. The war in the north was all but won.